everyone, Mr. Merkic here, and today I'm going to show you how to output and handle JSON in PHP. Um, so this is what JSON looks like, and I quickly want to say thank you to the person who told me to put a forward slash here. Um, but yeah, so this is what sort of basic bit of JSON output will look like. So let's say you wanted to use this now, and you're interested in um, literally taking, let's say, the city, or you want to take like the location, for example. Uh, you don't want all of this other like crap that's in front of it so there's actually ways you can decode it and take certain parts from it and I'm also going to show you how to output your own stuff like this uh, by giving it values so instead of like using a web server or a local host or something I'm going to show you a new thing which I personally use quite a lot uh, it's called PHP Fiddle it's basically like an online tool where you can test test code and stuff now you're sort of limited with what you can do because they turn certain things off but most of the simple functions and stuff work on this so it saves you a lot of time from uploading your file um, I suppose it don't make a difference if you use localhost or something but yeah it's a pretty useful little tool which you could um, take note of um, so what you want to do is let's say we, we want to output something like this now they all come more complicated or more this one don't contain arrays or anything like that it's just plain output um, so what we can do, I'll start off with showing you how to output something like that. Um, so let's say I've got an idea of I run a game. Now I'm going to have an API where I can display stats from the game. Um, so I'm going to create something called games and it's going to be equal to an array. Um, but what's going to happen is inside this array I'm going to have like multiple arrays. Um, and each array inside is going to contain details about like a different game within the main game if that makes sense um, so we'll uh, to make it look nice we'll like drop down a few lines uh, and inside here we'll say um, array again we'll have like another array uh, and inside here let's say we'll have one value called the game and then we can use the equal sign and like the right arrow and this is where we give it the value now if you're pulling like values from the database this is where the value would go um, but for now I'll just show you it with hard-coded text let's say the game is number one now the next thing we can have is sort of details about game number one so we'd have like let's say the players the player count and that would be equal to um, another value in your database if you was using that but I'll say the players was those ten players and then we'll have another one um, which would be let's say the prize, the prize of the game and then the prize could be something like uh, for, we'll make it up 10 coins something like that now we can put an arrow here because we're in this main array and we'll copy this line and we'll just put some more put some more in we'll just tab them in what we'll do is we'll change this to game number 2 and that gets to game number 3 and actually I meant players here and then let's say this game had 8 players in so the prize was 8 and this one had 12 so it's 12 so that would be like some information about our game uh, you could add as much as as much here as you wanted um, it's entirely up to you so let's say we wanted to output this um, looking like this so what we do is we'll create a new variable called output and that's going to be equal to an array actually because usually what these do is they return something like was it successful or was it a failure um, like let's say we wanted to check if the game like even existed um, so what we'll do is we'll just say the status this is what they usually use they use something called the status um, we're not going to put a check in because there is no nothing to check but by default we'll just say success because that's what you usually see um, but if you're getting from a database and stuff check if, if the query was successful you would do this if not put failure here so that's just that and then what you'll do is you'll have a comma here and another item in our output array will be our games and that's our games array here so it's going to contain all of this now what we can do to output it uh, we can just say um, JSON is equal to JSON underscore encode and we want to encode our output 
and what we can do is say echo uh, JSON just like that now it should look a little messy as you can see yeah you can see how messy our one looks compared to how this one looks now what you can do is you can set a flag um, inside the JSON encode and you can use um, put a comma here and in all capitals JSON underscore pretty underscore print um, kind of speaks for itself pretty print and it should look a little better but it's still quite messy so what you can do is if you output in um, onto the page you can wrap it in the pre tags uh, using HTML so we'll in the string we'll use uh, the pre tag and we'll just put a little dot here another dot here and then we'll close it off close off the pre tags now what you should see is if we run that now and what happened there you can see how much nicer this looks so there's our status is it was successful and then we've got the array here containing three of our games um, you see game one there was 10 players and 10 coins and th that would go on for as long as you wanted so that's our basic games array now let's say we wanted to or let's say this was an official like thing on the internet and we wanted to get the data from this what we could do is uh, I'll keep that there just for now so I can see or actually I can just take that away and copy it because we do need to see where stuff is within it and stuff uh, but we'll take away this line here um, but what you'd usually do is use like file get content so you'd say um, like file get contents and let's say the link for example um, so what we're going to do because we already have it here coded in we're going to say let's we'll just call it json1 that will be equal to json uh, decode this time and we're going to decode the encoded one which is just json on its own and what you can use is um, print underscore r and we'll just we'll print json1 and see what that gives us because it just like dumps it all for us and you can see that's how it dumps it for us but we don't want to use that how we can access things within this is we can echo and we can use the JSON one thing we got here and we want to use uh, well it depends what we want to get actually so we can have a look if we just want to take the status we can use status just like that and if I was to run that we should just see success because that's all that is all that's in status now t we can't just type game and get the game because it's inside an array so what we need to do is um, we need to uh, type in games because I think that's what we called it did we call it games um, no actually what we should have done is well we've got it here we just put the games array we we need to give it actually a name so we could have done games like this and just did it like that now if we run it we should get an error because it's an array yet um, so what we should see is we can use zero and that will take the first the first um, part of the array which is this one uh, they start at zero and then you've got number two or number one sorry number two and so on so that's zero so let's say from the zero we want to take the game name or yeah we take the game so we'll just um, take the game just like that we should see number one and there we are so if we wanted to take the players from this one uh, we just type in here players and we, you see we got ten and there's ten there now if I change the array to take from the first part we should see eight so let me go ahead and change the zero here to number one you should see eight and there you are so there's number eight and that's using just our uh, array that we encoded ourselves what I'm going to quickly show you is if we want to use this one this is basically like you could use it for a geo IP so you put the IP there that you want to get and use the JSON so we'll take this away and we'll just use um, JSON is equal to JSON underscore decode 
and we're going to decode file underscore get underscore contents and we'll get the contents of this URL and now let's say we want to take the country from this IP we can use uh, echo JSON and literally I think we can just take it like that country and run it and you see we've got US and that is US so it's as simple as that if I wanted to take anything else from here I'll just use the name we'll take the postal and we'll see their area roughly run that and that is the postal area for that IP so it's as simple as that to use JSON it's actually much simpler than you might think uh, it's just a little bit more complicated to output it to your own files um, but I hope this video could help you in a way to understand it a little bit better for those uh, who don't actually know much about it. So uh, that's it really. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time.